Hello, uh, welcome back. Um, I've uh, had a few queries about uh, throttle assignments on the Twin Otter. So I want to show you uh, what people um, have been wanting. I have got a CS throttle quadrant and I have got uh, these two uh, uh, levers assigned to the uh, uh, to the throttle axis. So as you can see, there's an actual physical detent here. With my setup, uh, this is how I do things. Um, the idle setting is just above the beta, and then when you put it into uh, beta mode, um, that's when you're pulling the throttle back. So this is a, a linear uh, throttle mapping, and uh, this uh, is assigned to a value of zero right there. Um, this is about minus one, um, and this is about minus two um, in the uh, in the throttle scales on in, in the top left corner. But that's not how other people have it. They have it a different way, and I'll show you. There's no. Uh, there's no uh, mapping for beta and reverse. It's just um, your throttle axis here on the on the on the bottom scale. It goes from zero to one. So zero to one is your uh, physical scale, and zero to one on the left hand side that's your actual logical scale. When you've got your um, when you, when you've got your throttle levers uh, right to the back before your reverse thrust detent, that's where you want to be. Um, so this is the test I'm going to be doing. So what have we got? Um, that's with the throttle levers fully aft, and that's fully forward. So as you can see, there's no um, there's no opportunity to go into reverse. Um, so um, in order to do this, um, you need to assign a command to uh, the micro switch on your uh, throttle lever. And I don't have such a micro switch, but I do have a command set up. So let's, let's go and take a look at this. If we go to settings, and then we go to keyboard, and I just typed in the word reverse in the top right corner here. And then um, you've got toggle thrust reverses. And then you've also got hold for us to reverse at max. So we'll go back and I will show you what happens. Now take a look at the numbers in the, in the top left corner. I've got throttle mappings here. I've also got mode and I've got power. Now I want to talk about mode a little bit. So mode one is uh, full forward throttle, I'm um, sorry, full forward power uh, mode for your for your engine. Um, mode zero is feathered, so that's what happens when you pull your um, your your prop levers for the aft. Now then you've also got mode two and mode three. Now mode two is your beta mode. That's when your um, uh, pitch is gone into a negative uh, blade angle, uh, but there's no further fuel being added. And then you've got mode reverse, which is mode free, and that's when you have your negative blade angle and you're adding more uh, fuel into the engine. Let's see what we can do here. Um, I, I use this one for uh, for gear. I use this one for flaps. Um, I use the one at the end for starting left and right engines. Um, I haven't used these ones yet, so let's just see. Uh, let's see what we can do there. Okay, so if we go to joystick, we've got these buttons doing nothing. Let's see what we can do with those. So if I use toggle to apply that, so we can just use that to simulate a, a button. Um, so then we can we can toggle the thrust reverses, but 
what we want to do really is we want to actually hold that hold it at max. So let's just see what happens when we hold it at max. Because this is going to be your micro switch. So let's see what happens. So reverse, I'm holding it at max, and it goes into max, which is great. That's what I think people want to happen. But as you can see, it just briefly goes into the beta mode, uh, into idle reverse for a little while, and then it goes into max. It, it lasts about a second. All right, hopefully that's uh, of uh, interest to people. Um, I'm going to be reassigning uh, my uh, quadrant back to uh, the way it used to be. But if you have um, if you have a joystick with a throttle lever that goes into in, uh, into reverse using a micro switch rather than a, a scaled um, axis, I think this is the best way to deal with it. Okay, thank you for watching.